video I'll show how to install PG admin management tool for Postgres on Mac. If you need, I have already Postgres installed on my machine, but if you need to do so, here's the list of commands you can use. The first one, brew install Postgres and on line 3 is a command to remove all, all files on line 5 the command to check version if you want and then you need to start server with the following command once the server is started run the command on line 9 init db to create a cluster when running this command you can see errors about some existence of uh, the db then run the command on line 11 to remove db and uh, run after that run a command to initiate the cluster again so then we have um, the server started and need to create a user that will be used to log into pg admin tool so this command create user slash p for password so you prompt to enter password slash s stands for super admin and postgres for username so once you enter this you need to enter password twice and you'll be done you won't have this error because i have this error because the user was created already so after that you need to go to pgadmin.org website and click download select the version we want pg admin 4 it's the latest 3 is not supported anymore and click mac os select the latest version and download this dmg image i have already downloaded it and one then click it it will open this window and you want to move this icon to your applications so it will take some time to install it we're waiting can run command to check version postgres version so I have version 12.2 less than a minute left almost there okay. okay done so just see if I find it and just click on it yes it open and it will be opened 
and browse there soon. So it's a reply to internet the password. Something to complete. And here are all the servers. Nothing there. So create server. Specify name. I just specify that name. Then go to connection tab. It's local post. So this is the username you created and password whatever you used while running this command. And here we have this connection. So I think that way it is loading. And this is our default administrative connection database. And this is how we will set up PG admin to use BSEO Postgres database. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.